What's up guys? We're back at the shop today and we finally got our hands on a 2019 uh, Tesla. Uh, it's a Model 3. It's got the dual motors. It's the higher end package. Um, and we got it like this. We put on blocks, trying to see what, what's going on. Um, <clears throat> this thing is, structure-wise, it's metal. It's not like the Model S, I think, or, uh, which they come aluminum body. This one's actual metal. It's a little tinier car. Um, and it looks pretty simple to repair. Um, obviously, it looks like we got a, a front subframe. The racket pin is broken right here. Um, somebody at the body shop took the electric motor and disconnected it, ruined the axle, so we had to do that. But as far as like repair wise goes, um, I don't know if you guys, you know, wondering what, what the Tesla is all about repair wise and how easy it is to fix these things. Um, from my professional knowledge, it doesn't look too bad at all. I mean, these rails look like they're just, just like regular any other car. Um, nothing, nothing fancy, actually. Um, Let's, we'll be able to save this frame rail and the subframe swaps out pretty easy from what I see here. We're waiting for a lift. Um, the things that are aluminum, the doors look like they're aluminum. The fender is aluminum. Um, a lot of these parts are available at the wrecking yard. Um, so we've actually sourced them out. We've, we should have them today or tomorrow. Um, if you come around this side, I don't know why they took the door off the car, but we don't have a door. Um, the car's got like 600 miles on it, Six, 600 and some change. Um, this door doesn't open inside or out, um, so I don't know what that's all about. I'm thinking maybe that might be the problem. I'm going to hook that up and see if that can cause it to open or close. Um, Discuss the full panel roof, glass here, glass here, and glass here, um, and it's available after market. So we get this, we're gonna get the glass. Um, and then the suspension was touched. We got a broken tire right in on this side, but uh, you know, crash crash test data and the way I see everything structured, um, a Subaru Forester has better collision uh, than this thing does because. This thing does not have any crumple zones until you, until you kind of get into, I mean, look at this right here. The crumple zone is right here, and you're right at the shock tower. On Subarus, when the car gets hit, they got, right in the front, they got a bunch of these cr crash zone crumple areas. So when the car gets hit, it folds the rails over immediately and get rid gets rid of that inertia. Um, <clears throat> and it's easier to repair. Once you get down in here, the tower is removed. A lot more, a lot more of a problem. Uh, look, we got one right here. Let me show you guys. Forester wise, and I was saying is on the Subarus. You see, they, you see these. These are your crumple zone um, areas. When the car crushes, there's one over here. You can see. See when they got hit, it rolled and, and bent this frame rail here. Uh, the towers are back here still. I mean, this car is mangled in the front, but. The dealer sells these rails, 240 bucks a pop, and just chop the section on both sides and put a new support on it, and the car can be put back to life. For, so for repair purposes, this is a lot easier. Um, Tesla, they only got one back here. So I don't know what their crash data looks like, but I've you know, fixed, been fixing cars for 20 years, from my, from my knowledge at least, from what I see. You know, if this thing gets, thing gets hit one way or another, your whole tower is moving over. I mean, the car has become worthless at that point. I mean, you still fix it, it's just a lot more work. And you can even see some of the bolts right here. I moved this tower a little bit already. It's like this whole thing is one inner structure, which is kind of scary. It should be, should have, I mean, not scary, but for repair wise, it's, it's, it's a nightmare. Um, but it's a 19 Model 3. Um, I love the white interior with the red. Um, we're gonna put it back together and um, see what kind of problems we run into. Uh, if we're gonna be able to recertify this thing, get a super, get the super supercharger stations for free, um, amongst you know a bunch of other crap that I have no idea what the hell is going on at the moment. But repair-wise, we'll get this thing repaired, looking new again. Functionality, 
calling somebody else to do all that stuff and we'll learn. I have no idea. Um, that's all I got for now. I guess when we get the parts in, we'll, you know, we'll have you guys back in and we'll, we'll keep you guys uh, up to date on the Model 3, um, and what we've been doing. I know you guys have seen the video on the, on the 17 NSX that we were building, and we haven't put out another video late, uh, lately. Um, the, car had, the car developed a blown head gasket issue, so we ended up taking the car down to Driving Ambitions, and they are working on doing the head gaskets for us, and we're gonna go ahead and modify the car while it's there, put some exhaust headers and stuff like that and tune it. Um, and then I know a while back we had an 05 black NSX we were putting together, the whole rear end was crunched. Um, <coughs> that car is back together. Um, I wish we'd done some more footage of us putting it together, but with this whole coronavirus and everything, we just kind of just been working by ourselves. Um, but I'll have the car here tomorrow. Um, I'll show you guys what we did to, what, what, you know, what we did, what we did not do. Actually, I'll take that car back to my house and show you guys in, in my personal garage with the rest of the toys I got in there at the moment. So um, subscribe, um, keep liking us, uh, any questions, um, more and more to help you guys out. Thanks for keeping us going and have a, have a safe coronavirus uh, weekend. That's all I got, Corey.